What's up? I'm Tony from Band Dragged Under. We're currently on tour with Bless the Fall. Um, this is the Dragon Wagon. So I'll show you guys inside. All right. So this is a 2008 Chevy Express conversion. Um, there's a company called Tesco Bus, and they basically buy these vans, um, how they are, and they like cut the whole back off and like build out um, like the shuttles. That's like basically how they get like the airport shuttles. Um, but they make them for like churches and stuff like that. We bought this one from a church. Um, a couple years ago, uh, and I paid like eleven thousand dollars for it, and uh, it had like thirty thousand miles. So it's a pretty killer deal. I couldn't really pass it up. So I went and scooped it. Um, when I first bought the van, it had a ton of water damage. Like there was leaks everywhere, um, and I had to rip the whole entire thing apart, take out all the water damage, all the rust, like re, re, put, re put the walls up. It was gnarly. So it was quite an undertaking. So um, now I know why it was only eleven thousand dollars, but I still think it was a well worth investment. It's been a great van for us. Uh, the front is really not a whole lot different than like a regular Chevy Express van. There's nothing to it except for we have this guy. Um, so like this just controls the door, um, the dome lights in the back which we don't have and there's like a couple switches that control different power in the back and then the heat and the um, AC. But otherwise the front of this is exactly like any other like 2008 to 2013 Chevy Express. Yeah as far as driving goes um, we kind of split the responsibilities. We always have to have a co-captain, which is why we wanted the shuttle with the seat because uh, a lot of them, like a lot of shuttle style buses don't come with the passenger seat. And so that's why we held out for the longest time on not doing it because um, we just thought it was kind of dangerous to not have a co-pilot. So we always have someone in, in both of these chairs, which is nice because it leaves a ton of room back there for the rest of the guys. We're only touring as a five piece right now. So it's been nice. It's been pretty spacious. But yeah, it's been great. So this is our little Bluetooth adapter. So instead of doing like aux cables, um, we just have this guy basically to send the Bluetooth signal to this, and that goes in the aux, and that's how we do music. This is uh, the coolest thing we've ever had. These things break all the time, like the crappy dash phone holders, but this one is cool. It's got like a little touch sensor, so it'll open up, and you put your phone in there, and it'll shut again, and it'll charge your phone while it's on there. So like, you don't need any additional cables. And it's we've had this for probably two or three years. It's been amazing. I don't know where we got it. I think we got it like a Loves or something, but highly recommend. MS, I think it's called, phone holder. Absolutely clutch. Um, this is just like your typical cup holder. We got the triple cup holder option with my spitter. Kind of gross, but. Uh, and then we got our Dave's Sunflower Seed Stash. This is like the ultimate way to stay uh, awake while you're driving. This is mine right here. I like the Frank's Red Hot. Uh, and then barbecue, that's Sean. And these are also Sean, but we split those. I like ranch too. Uh, our merch, merch guy, he's doing merch and photography. You'll never see him without these. These are like his favorite treat. Um, everyone's got their own little like water bottles. These are lifesaver on tour. You never want to not have like a refillable water bottle thing. Um, we have a new guy with us, Chris. He's totally green. He's never toured before, and he, he kept taking like the water cases from the green rooms with like 30 or 40 water bottles. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You're a psycho. Like, stop wasting water bottles. We'll buy you a reusable water bottle if you want. So always have one of those. You don't need to have you know 30 or 40 half empty plastic water bottles floating around your. These are my throat coat lozenges. These are your lifesaver if you're a singer, because I, I like the throat coat tea, um, but you know you don't always have time for tea or a kettle. Uh, I bought this last night at a truck stop. It's like a neck fan. So you just hold this to turn it on, and you just throw it on like that. And it just blows air on your neck and head. It's great. I highly recommend this too. Tour essential. So we have this app called Drone Mobile. I installed this when I did like all this extra stuff to the van, like put in all like the stereo and stuff like that. Um, I installed this app because a lot of times bands have their stuff stolen on tour like their their gear their whole van sometimes goes missing um, And with this we're able to track our van in real time So right now we're at 314 North Dearborn, which I believe is where we're at the house of blues um, The map's not loading because we're underground so I don't have a great signal here But we can also like start and stop the van from the app So if you don't have your keys and you're like it's warm out you want to get the van started You just push that button Start fired up. Isn't that fancy? So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And then like everyone in your crew can have like a, a key. Um, and you can also lock and unlock it from here. So it's nice. Because there's a lot of times like like this venue, I think it's like eight flights of stairs to get back up to like the green room. Um, so if I'm like if I forgot my keys, I'm like I'm not going back up there. Um, tells you like the temperature inside the rig, that's cool. Tells you what doors are opened. Um, yeah, this is sick. If you guys are in a band and you own your van. I highly recommend you get drone mobile. This is not an ad, but
but they should be paying me. Oh, every band should have one of these bad boys. This is like a wheel lock, so sometimes we end up in sketchy places, so we'll just kind of toss the wheel lock on there. Um, but yeah, you should definitely get one of those. This is the back. You'll notice there's a towel here, that's because we had a leak. Um, this van's been prone to water issues, and we had a really heavy rain day today in Minneapolis, so um, it leaked a little bit. Come on in. We got these curtains all over the place. We have these curtains all hung up, so sometimes if we park, like, sometimes we'll sleep overnight, um, or sometimes someone will just come here and take a nap, and like, if we really want it to get dark, you know, we can throw all these curtains up and kind of black the place out. They're not perfect, but they work. This is kind of like my workstation that I built, because when we were building this out, we were just like, okay, we should build a bunch of bunks, and then I kind of was like, well, I need a place to like sit and work during the day, because I have a day job, um, and our, our uh, photographer needs a place to like edit his photos and stuff, so we built this. It's a nice little workstation. It's got storage underneath both these seats. So, I have no idea what's in there right now. But uh, it's mostly just like a, ba like a backup jump starter battery and like cleaning supplies and random stuff. Here we got inverter power and a separate stereo for the back. I don't know why I put that in. When I first got the van, I had this idea that like the people in the back would be listening to something different from the people in the front. But the people in the back just listen to their headphones. So that was a waste of like 1500 bucks. Um, this side is just like all the, oh, electronics and such. Nothing cool there. I don't let anybody else touch that because anytime they do, they break it. This is a picture of me. Pretty cool. Oh, this is like fan art from a, a young kid that he gave us. How cute is that? Love that. So we keep that we keep that close by. So this is just like our our sentimental section. This is my buddy Tim and his kid Jax. He's a big fan. Shout out to Jax. Yeah, this is where a TV was here. And I just took it out because literally nobody was watching. These are the cubbies, obviously essential. Um, the top one is kind of like a grab bag now because it's the biggest one. So it's where I was storing like my tea, my honey, my uh, throat coat, ibuprofen. So it's kind of a medicine cabinet now, but I let our um, merch guy have this because he has the most stuff. So he gets the biggest one. And then these are just, I think this is Sean's. This one's mine, which uh, always ends up being used as like just a bullshit holder. And I probably had like four or five conversations with the guys about not using my cubby as just random storage, but here we are. Um, dude wipes, absolute tour central. But yeah, the rest of the bunks, you know, we got like more water cups. Um, we got some, we got a quad cortex in here. Shout out to Neuro. You guys should absolutely be using these if you're on tour. This is like the best sounding small rig you can get. Neuro DSP. Some Funyuns in there that are no doubt gonna end up all over the place if I don't take them out right now. And yeah, those are the cubbies. Everyone's got their own, so I, in a perfect world, nobody will put shit in mine, but it always ends up like that. And then we got these cool little like, these are just little cross member boys to kind of hold stuff in if you got like something behind there. So that's the cubbies. So the story behind all this is, when I bought the van, I flew my dad up, because I don't really know how to use tools. and. Um, together we kind of like mapped this out and built it and then uh, yeah had to rebuild it because water got into it and then like all the walls got moldy so I take everything out take the walls out and rebuild everything it was fucking tight so these are the bunks there's four um, it's not really much to talk about here they're just bunks but yeah we I had these mattresses custom made they're like trifold mattresses and they fit they fit perfectly in each bunk because they're all kind of a little different size so we can fold these up and take them to like a hotel if we want to. And these are what we call the beach sheets for obvious reasons. Just a little privacy. They don't work that well because mostly like when we're back here, a lot of times we like to pop this up and get a little airflow, like when the van's moving and these things just go everywhere. So nine times out of 10, we end up just not using them. So we don't really have like assigned bunks. If we're like stopping somewhere, we kind of just go like whatever bunk's open, you grab it. The only one that I request to not sleep in is the man cave down there. Um, not for any particular reason, just because it's like, it's kind of warmer and it's like way down low and it's hard for me to get up. I have shit knees. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just first come first serve. We have the second AC unit back here. So sometimes like if like the person that runs the hottest, which is usually me, I usually like to sleep right there. Um, or like when we're driving, sometimes I like to go right there because the AC just kicks right on you. It's killer. Um, this, the, so the bench, like initially we also had the idea to just be like, let's make another bunk here. But... 
just because of how many people we have touring with us, like legally, we have to have like a certain amount of seat belts for this vehicle to be like legal to drive on the highway. Um, so I, instead I was like, well, we'll just make this like a half bed um, and we'll use, you know, we have used the seat belts that were already in the van. So each of these seats actually has a seat belt, which is kind of nice. This is like a net hanger. I don't, I have no idea what's in here, but we kind of use it as like a hat holder. And I think these are like extra like pillowcases in here. But we like Bass Pro. So if anyone from Bass Pro Shop's watching, shoot us a sponsor. Oh, here's, um, we got a little phone charging boy here. So this, this runs up all the way to the front of the van to like that top corner I showed you where the electronics are. And then we run like extensions from here. So at, at one point, every bunk had like a little like cable here. So they could plug their own cable into that and they all had their own little chargers. But as you tour, things get messed up and broken. And so when stuff gets broken, I just don't replace it anymore. I got tired of like, replacing shit and then people breaking it again and keep replacing it and so no I just don't do that um, every bunk has a little cup holder this one's for Sean's little seeds bitter um, yeah there's a back door but we never use it it's it hasn't been open probably in two years um, but that's pretty much it thanks to digital tour bus for coming out hanging out with dragged under um, you guys can check us out at dragdunder.com Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, all that stuff, Dragged Under. we got some new songs coming out. By the time this video airs, maybe they'll be out. Um, we should have a new record coming out early next year. So thanks for hanging out.